Hey, what's up coin fam? In today's video, we'll be talking about one of my favorite coins to find, the Bicentennial Quarter. These iconic quarters are unique and rare enough that when you find one, instinct tells you to save it. That's not going to make you rich, but we'll talk about five Bicentennial Quarters worth finding. This 1976 quarter looks like many other Bicentennial Quarters that you've come across from the reverse. It's in pretty good condition. This quarter graded mint state 66 on a scale from 1 to 70. What's unique about this quarter, though, is that it's an error coin. Here's the front or obverse of the quarter. See what I mean? This is what's called a struck-through error. Somehow, a piece of cloth came in between the planchet and the die. This resulted in the lack of detail and the wavy appearance of the metal. How much is an error like this worth? This bicentennial quarter sold at Heritage Auctions for almost $900. Some of the most popular error coins are double dies, and that's what makes this bicentennial quarter next on our list for this video. A double die is when part of the details are doubled on the die that stamps the coins. This happens when the die rotates in between contact with the hub during the creation of the die. This 1976 quarter was graded mint state 65. You can see doubling on some of the letters in Liberty and in God We Trust. A double die error like this on a bicentennial quarter in this condition sold at auction for over $3,000. Why did this jacked up quarter sell at auction for over $5,000? This is a quarter that was struck on a nickel planchet. So how are you supposed to know this if you come across something like this? Well, the shape of the quarter is off. As you can see, the lower left is oblong and not round. It looks like the quarter was struck off center and you can also see the weak strike at the lower left edge of the coin. Here's what it looks like from the front. We see exactly what we saw on the reverse of the quarter. The next step would be to weigh the coin. This quarter came in at 4.9 grams, less than the normal 5.67 grams from a clad quarter. Error coins are interesting to learn about and really fun to find, but having an error on a coin isn't necessarily the most valuable thing that can happen to a coin. This quarter sold at auction for over $6,000, and there's nothing wrong with it. Why did it sell for so much? There are people in the world that want the best of everything. Cars, jewelry, watches, and yep, coins too. This quarter is the highest grade ever discovered for this year and mint mark, and there have only been 10 of them identified by PCGS. The grade is a mint state 68 for this 1976 Denver Minted Beauty, and that's why it sold for $6,462. Take a look at this nearly perfect mint state 69 bicentennial quarter. This 1976 quarter was minted in San Francisco, and it's silver. This coin is in such good shape, it almost came in at a perfect grade of 70. You're not going to see many coins like this with a nearly perfect strike and almost no signs of wear. This quarter is such a high grade, there have only been six of these graded Mint State 69 by PCGS. And there haven't been any of these graded a perfect 70. Because this is the top grade for this coin, it sold at auction for almost $20,000. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.